Greetings ladies and gentlefish and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Last time we went on a little excursion into Evil Forest in an attempt to find the princess. We ended up, well we found her but she was whisked off again. But we did manage to find Vivi, bring him back to the ship and he was fine. So we are now going to set off on a little excursion with Zidane, Steiner and Vivi once again to go and try and rescue the princess. Now, before going any further, one thing I do want to mention is that Sinner actually opens a shop uh, for items. Now, because you've left Tantalus now, they're going to charge you for it, go figure. But this is basically, well, no, it's not the first shop in the game, but it's the first one you might actually really want to use. <clears throat> He's not selling anything particularly interesting. Um, however, uh, the boss at the end of Evil Forest does like inflicting darkness. So while your 14 potions should be sufficient, you might want to stock up on some eye drops. So with that in mind, I'm just going to buy a batch of eye drops. There we go. And that should be that. Um, I'm pretty sure I sorted out equipment and abilities last time. Yes, indeed I did. And... Yeah, that's fine. So, without any further ado, we are just going to set off into the big scary world of Evil Forest. We've been here before, <coughs> but this time we are going to go keep pushing onward through the wood. You're going to have a series of active time events crop up as you go. Orchestra in the forest. So, this orchestra are actually playing a piece of music from Final Fantasy VII. Which, having... First time I played this game, I hadn't played VII, so I didn't recognise it, but now I do. Hey, not bad. A morale-boosting piece of music. I'm going to go take a look around. Stay on your toes, we'll be leaving soon. Okay, boss. There we go. So that's just a nice little interlude for you. And down into this cavern. There's pretty much invariably a random encounter at exactly that point. <coughs> well, there seems to be. Um, now, two opponents. I'm not actually... Um, I will mention something in a sec about Rose. I'm not actually going to use VB's Black Magic for the purposes of this battle because it's not really necessary. I'm not going to waste his MP. There we go. With Beast Killer equipped, Steiner kills these things in one hit. And Zidane has a powerful enough weapon to just kill them in one hit. And of course, would you credit it, both Steiner and Vivi are one, literally one experience away from level go figure. But we do have a couple of Now, just at this moment, I will mention order. So, those of you who've played any Final Fantasy games before, or some other JRPG-style games, you'll be familiar with the concept of the front row and the back row. If not... Basically, your characters can either be in the front row of your party, or in the back. You can also switch where in the party they are. It doesn't matter what position they're in in this particular game. A front and back row does make a difference. If you're in the front row, um, you deal and take physical damage as normal. If you're in the back row, you deal reduced physical damage, but you also take reduced physical damage. So generally speaking, you want your competent physical characters in the front row, and your mages in the back row as a general thumb. Let's just keep going. Come on. <coughs> Waterfall's a dead end. I wonder where this river goes. Um, there's nothing else to see here. It's just a little bit of uh, landscaping for you. Up here. And just follow the path along. And you turn up here. There is a Moogle to save your game, and there is also a spring to restore your hit points and mana. Hmm, no sign of any monsters here. That's a sign you will not get a random encounter in this area. Hurrah. Spring. So, active time event again. Do as I say, not as I do. Most of these active time events are optional. Occasionally, like this one, they're not optional. You have to watch them. Are you sure about this? Yeah, don't worry. We'll be out of here soon too. Here, take this map. It's going to be a long trip back to Limblum. 
All right, I'll see you later. I'm counting on you. That's gonna crop up later on. Yeah, you can think of ATEs as cutscenes without cutscenes, I guess, if you want. So we're just gonna drink from this um, spring to restore our HP and MP. And then we need to go and have a chat with the Moogle. So if we select Mognet, firstly I'm going to give Monty a letter that I got from Kupo right at the beginning of the game in Alexandria. A letter from Kupo. Thanks for the delivery, Kupo. From Kupo to Monty. I think Queen Bran is up to something. But I suspect Princess Garner even more, Kupo. She might leave home soon. With a prince on a white horse. Maybe it's just my imagination. Yeah, I wouldn't really cause a Dane a prince on a white horse. But, eh. Hmm? Princess Garner? Didn't she just... Oh, never mind, Kupo. Yes, she just went through. And if you hit cancel, and do this regularly, whenever you go to Mognet, hit cancel, because then the Moogle will say, I just received a letter from Stiltskin. Let's read it together. Stiltskin, of course, is the travelling Moogle, for those of you who can't remember. From Stiltskin to Monty. I'm in a very cold place right now. It's really strange. It wasn't like this last time I came here. But I guess this is why I travel, to encounter the unexpected. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here before I get trapped in ice. Hit him. A cold place. Oh, I know where he is, Kupo. There must be something strange going on. Just check there's nothing else. I want mail, Kupo. Okay, save him. <coughs> you can use a tent as well to fully restore your um, health and MP and whatnot. But seeing as in this particular area, there's a spring that does it for us. That doesn't really seem huge. Point. Now, there is a boss coming up. To the right, this path here leads to the boss. Just a few words before we go and take on the plant brain. Yeah, I know, it sounds like a bit of a dumb name. So, firstly, the battle is split up into two distinct stages. In the first stage, your the damage you do to this guy doesn't count. Doesn't matter for Diddly. He's got around about 900 health, but the damage you do to him doesn't count in the first stage. So, in that first stage of the battle, you want to use Focus Command with Vivi. If we have a look at abilities... Oh no, it won't come up there. Sorry, if we have a look at status... There we go. So you'll see Vivi has Attack, Black Magic, Focus, and Item. Focus increases the amount of magic damage he does with his next spell, and it is cumulative. So you can use Focus turn after turn after turn after turn to build up a particularly powerful spell. In general, throughout the game, this isn't a colossally useful ability, but there are particular fights where it is of use. So it is useful in this one. It's useful later on when we take on an antlion and he uh, counters all magic attacks. So what you can do is have a... But there are a couple of enemies that counter magic attacks, so to get around that, you can focus, 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 and then hit them with one big magic attack that just nukes them, and then you don't have that same issue. So you want Vivi to counter attack, you want Zidane to steal, um, you can steal uh, some eye drops off of this boss, which you'll probably end up using because the boss does like to inflict darkness, and you can also steal a piece of armor for uh, Steiner. Once a certain amount of time has passed, or once Zidane's health goes yellow, so once Zidane has taken quite a lot of damage, Blank will turn up to save your booty. At this point, all the damage you do to the plant brain is counted, so once that point has been reached, um, I would just wait on and kill it. It doesn't take that much to kill in the grand scheme of things, and then Vivi can unleash his fire spells, Steiner can unleash his fire sword, the thing is weak to fire, it's a plant at the end of the day, and Zidane and Blank can just beat it down with, with their physical attacks. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to say about the upcoming boss. Ah, oh, one last thing. It does like using, and the minions it has around it, they all do like using thunder. So if you can equip any item that reduces thunder damage, that is a good thing. So if you press select on a PlayStation controller or it's back on the Xbox controller, um, the game will give you information about a particular item. So, for example, here you can see Rubber Helm, Helm worn by soldier trainees, thunder damage reduced by 50%, which is why I had it in the first place. Um, and Bronze Armor reduces wind damage, for example. Now, that is not a colossally useful thing to have, but the reduction of thunder damage is quite nice. Silk Shirt also reduces thunder damage by 50%. And actually, what I'm going to do 
I am going to swap out Zidane to have the Silk Shirt as well. Because that will reduce the thunder damage and the abilities that the, the Leather Shirt was providing, at least for this boss fight, aren't going to be colossally useful. So that seems like a good thing to do. And VV has a Silk Shirt. Anyway, so now all my party have reduced thunder damage. Hurrah! Let's go and take on the boss. And the camera ominously pans. <coughs> and you see the boss in the background. Yeah, that's it. The plant brain. There's another little hollow for you to go into, which looks a bit dodgy. And the boss music starts playing. You can see Garnet in the background, and there is the plant brain. Question. Oh, by the way. For Steiner, in that first phase of the battle, when you've got Zidane stealing and BB using focus, just have him on hand, throw a potion on someone, and as always, it is necessary. Princess, you stay out of this. Alexandria would be disgraced if a mere bandit should rescue the princess. You think you can handle him on your own? Yeah. See, Steiner doesn't always think these things through. Let's get him, BB. So this is the boss music that you usually get played during this game. I'm going to stop singing. There is the plant brain in question. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, you can press triangle to... Um, there we go. Dark on everyone. You can press triangle to kind of delay someone's action. Uh, now, what I'm actually going to do is use the defend command with Steiner, just in case uh, the plant brain decides to attack him. We'll take damage. Thunder! On Zidane. This still does 50 damage, despite the fact that we are reducing the damage by 50%. Um, it still does a respectable amount of damage. I mean, this is a boss at the end of the day, and this is actually the first proper boss that you have in the game. Who's part of this Everyone! So I'm going to throw a potion on BB, because he doesn't have a huge amount of health to start off with, and we've now stolen everything from the boss at the camp. Still focusing with BB, because we haven't initiated the second stage of this battle. And again, there is absolutely... I'm just going to double-check. I am pretty sure... Um, yes, I did just want to double check. There is absolutely no point in wailing on the guy at this point because that will not trigger the second stage during this fight. Zidane's health has just gone into the yellow, and there we go, blank turns up the same effect. So, item, potion, Zidane. Item, potion, Steiner. And then we're going to have item, and we're going to use those eye drops. And we're going to put them on today because he'll be up next to do some pain. And BB's going to come. Item. Eye drops on Steiner. We don't need to worry about eye drops on BB. I mean, we're not going to be using his physical attacks on this. Anywho, so it really doesn't matter. Right tentacle, who's going to get hit? Steiner gets hit, never mind. We're just waiting for Zidane to finally use those eye drops. And then we're going to use Sword Magic Fire. Fire. And it shouldn't take too long to put this thing down, to be honest. And there we go, it's dead. Once you've got into that second stage, it only takes a couple of rounds of combat, especially if you've got Vivi casting fire. Steiner using his fire sword magic. It really doesn't take long to take the guy out. Quick note about boss battles, as a general rule of thumb, boss battles don't give you any experience in this game. However, they do give you um, much more ability, much many more ability points than you get off regular battles. So they're good for leveling up abilities. They're not so good for leveling up characters. And there we go. Now, don't worry, things haven't all settled down yet. Princess, please get a hold of yourself. Zidane, give her the stuff. 
So this is number time number three that Blank has saved our booty, by the way. <coughs> Princess, please try to drink all of it. Is she going to be okay? Oh, man. What now? Well, you just killed the thing in charge of the forest. Oh, dear. Jeez, we're going to be surrounded. Let's get out of here. Go! Right. And so you... What are you waiting for? You hightail it out of here. And you're going to get chased by these blighters for a little way as you try and leave the forest. Now, you can actually fight them a lot to try and level your characters up if you want. But there is an unending number of them that will just come up. Personally, I can never be bothered. And you're going to be healed after this little sequence automatically. So don't be afraid to use your MP, use your abilities. And one or two of these fights you can't avoid, like this one. So, we are just going to really try and smack these guys in the face and get through them relatively quickly. There we go, Blank kills one. Blank has an iron sword, by the way. It's the next sword that you would get for Steiner, but that's why he does so much goddamn damage. Now, I'm going to see if I can actually be a little bit cheeky. Yay, people leveled up. Get potion. Now, I'm going to be a little bit cheeky. Blank is soon going to leave our party. So I'm actually going to take his stuff. <laughs> I'm such a good friend. Seriously, you're not going to have to worry about what Blank is equipped with um, for very long. We'll leave him with the iron sword because Stein's going to be using his uh, broadsword, which is the only thing we'll be able to replace him with anyway. Doing. And this hesitation costs you. Something's wrong. What? The entire forest is coming after you. Blank. Take care of everyone. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Yeah, this is going to bite you on the bum. Damn it! That idiot! Blank. He may only have been a secondary character and you may not have known him for very long, but he saves your backside on four separate occasions. He is one of the most competent secondary characters I've ever come across. And if Sidane hadn't hesitated, Blank would still be with us. But there we go. Evil Forest becomes petrified. With Blank inside. I hope she gets well soon. This is all his fault. Have you nothing to say, you filth? Oh. Princess. Steiner? How did I survive? You brought me here? It is my sworn duty to protect you at any cost. What are you talking about? It was Vivi's magic and my dagger that got you out of there, Princess. And thus they have to get into a competition. I thank you both. That monkey deserves no praise. None of this would have happened if you and your band hadn't abducted the Princess. Well, actually. And how dare you claim that you have rescued her? When we get back to Alexandria, I will... Steiner. 
I left the castle of my own will. What a coincidence, eh? We went to snatch her and she wanted to be snatched. Impossible! I really want to shout, inconceivable, at the top of my lungs, but there we go. It's true. So what do you say, Rusty? Friends, come on, let's just enjoy this camping trip while it lasts. Camping? You imbecile! Surely even you must know something about the mist. The vicious monsters it spawns, the abnormalities it stirs in the mind and body. Princess, we must leave this dangerous place at once. You've got to be kidding. She hasn't even fully recovered yet. Silence! Who asked for your opinion? Alright, tell me. How do you plan to get her out of here? We're standing in a valley, surrounded by tall cliffs. And last I heard, Northgate and Southgate were sealed off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Grrr. The princess can barely walk right now. You went through this, you should know. I think we should rest here for now. I will never follow you. Steiner! State your sworn duty. What else? To protect Princess Garnet till Alexandros. Very well. Steiner's all bluster, like I say at the beginning of this game. Until the princess recovers, I will guard this place with my life. Sounds good to me. VV, let's get some rest. And yes, that dinky little pom-pom tent thing is adorable. There we go. Sleeping music. How are you feeling? Good, thanks to that medicine you gave me. Could this be... Yeah, I was surprised too. After we beat that big plant guy, the forest got completely petrified. Vivi told me that we were able to escape because of your friend. His name is Blank. We must go help him. We can't do anything for him right now. But I, I can't... We'll come back for him. I'm sure there's a way to cure him. Let's get going. According to the map that Blank gave me, there's a cavern to the south of us. Maybe we can get above the mist through that cavern. Are you alright? Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. Look, there's something coming. Wait, Kupo. I'm impressed, Kupo. First time I've seen anyone escape from Evil Forest. You all must be strong, Kupo. Says the Moogle who lived there. If we're all strong, this is just proof that Moogles are ridiculously OP. I mean... Yeah, you do not mess with a Moogle. It lived in that forest and got out. I mean, anyway. Actually, more evidence of how ridiculously powerful Moogles are later on in this game. But don't get cocky, Koopo. Lots of stronger monsters ahead. Before you go out of to the world, Mogster will teach you a few things. Right. So, teach me Mogster lesson one. These are a series of ATEs that come up. Um, the first one you have to watch, the rest not so much. Basically, it's the game's way of giving you little tutorials on various bits and bobs as the game prog progresses. So you have these two Moogles, Mogster and Moggy, and their brothers, and Mogster teaches Moggy things. Hey bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. You're going to love this lecture. Now. Here are a whole bunch of things that you could choose for Mogster to teach Moggy. I am not going to select one of them because I know all this stuff. And I have either explained or will explain them as we go. So I'm going to go for nothing. But it's save Moogles, not save Moogles. But um, this would be your opportunity to review any bits of tutorial or anything that you need to. I'm just going to hit nothing. Gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. I love the fact he says that even if you ask for nothing. Yeah, I know. And Mogster's a bit of a... He's a bit up himself, but there we go. I have a gift for you, Koopo. Take this flute. Receive Moogle's flute. With this flute, you can call us anywhere in the world, Koopo. Press X to play it. 
So if you're using a PlayStation controller, that will be press square. Happy trails, Koopo. Thank you. Koopopo. Bye. Koopo. What the? Who goes there? And Steiner is such a good guard, he didn't even notice. Your friend's already left, Koopo. Princess, wait! Steiner is so inept. Right. Um, this is also the first time that you have access to the world to explore. So this was the last of the Final Fantasy games to get a whole open world with a world map and all of that jazz. Um, from Final Fantasy X onwards, they moved to a different system, which made me very sad, but never mind. Uh, so this just tells you what you can do. Um, the Moogle flute that you were given enables you, you're now on the Mist Continent by the way, enables you effectively to save your game out on the big wide scary world. Like this. Plays that lovely little tune. Can I help you, Koopo? Save. And we will save the game. And that is Evil Forest. You can't come back to it for obvious it's petrified related reasons. Um, not that there's anything really to come back to, but you can't come uh, back to that area. Having made our way through um, through Evil Forest, I will call this video there. Next time, we are going to um, go and do a little bit of exploration before we get to the first actual, or the next town, the next settlement. Um, it's not really even a settlement, it's a cave that we need to get to. And we're also going to investigate how to annoy them which is hilarious. Anyway, uh, we'll save that for next time. So for now, see you in another video. Ciao, ciao.